but yeah um i've got loads of videos coming up for you guys do not worry i just haven't had the time to like edit and get things out so i've come and as you can tell from the title of the video it's uh all about this hair um i believe i've worn it this will be the third time I've worn this hair in a video and each time I've received loads and loads of questions about it. So, um, this video has been due for a moment now. So yeah, I was contacted by Joyce, who is the founder, CEO, you know, top dog, girl boss of Her Given Hair, right there. And I, first received my hair back in October of last year I had it made into a wig <laughs> in December of last year and so near the end of December up until now um, I have been you know continuously enjoying this hair as a protective style so I would say let's just say that's six months but it's a little bit more than six months so I can really give you guys you know my um, hundred and ten percent honest opinion um you know over the last few months about how the hair has worked for me but before i jump into that i'll tell you what what's happening on my head right now okay like all of this fabulousness so pretty um i received four bundles of hair okay i had three 20s and 118 the hair came in this box right here it says her given hair right there um on the back it has the social media as well as their website and inside there's nothing in this box but there is in this box so one second So inside each box there were two bundles of hair um, and the hair came in these plastic um, covers and it included this which gives you the spec on your hair, uh, the length, the type of curl that you have, um, the weight, the colour and the order number, okay? So for me I received the wefted hair in curly and they have three types of curls yes three types of hair curl definitions um and i received curly which is the curliest one um i told bissy who is my wig whisperer uh that i wanted the hair big but i didn't want it huge so i had a feeling straight away that i definitely wouldn't need four bundles the bundles looked quite thick and juicy and I knew that would be quite a lot of hair. So I told her that and she left this much, okay? So this is what the hair looks like um, when you receive it. This is the natural texture of it. Of course, this is a little bit frizzy because I've had this for a while now, like I said. But you can see this is the texture of the curly, okay? And it really, really looks just like my hair texture this is you know I couldn't have found anything closer to what my natural curls look like but of course you know my hair is kinky curly so the way my hair behaves and the way this hair behaves is completely different this is like some European woman's hair that's you know been steamed to look like this whereas mine is just like some black woman's hair that grew from DNA out of her scalp so yes um, so the wig came, it was gorgeous, I put it on, I loved it, but what I realised or what I found was as time went on, it got huge. So by like day two, I had day four hair, it was just huge, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and I found myself having to wash and restyle more often than I'd like just to tame the hair. So I went in... And I took out this much, okay? Oh, I took out this much, which is kind of like, I would say just a little bit more than half a bundle, okay? 
um yeah a little bit more than half a bundle so currently what i have is like two and a half bundles if that and it's still quite big i'll show you the back okay um it's still quite big but it's perfect for me now i can get loads of days out of this this is i would say day this no this is day three okay so this is day three and this is how big it's gotten it's not too huge it's still you know nice and voluminous defined manageable is the word i am <laughs> looking for so basically with kinky curly hair the bigger you make your hair, the more bundles you use, the less manageable I find it to be. And I don't want to have to put in more work in my wig than I put into my own hair. That to me defeats the whole point of like taking a break from my own hair. So to jump in and give you guys a few points about the hair. Um, if you guys will recall, maybe two years ago I reviewed some kinky curly hair. And at that time, I didn't really have anything to compare it with. So, you know, it was quite a basic review. However, now that I've had that hair, which is, you know, a kinky curly hair, and now I've got this hair, I can give you guys, you know, the real juice. So, this is the most manageable hair that I have, okay? Um, well, kinky curly hair, okay? This is the most manageable. It does tangle right here. But it's not crazy, like, it's not crazy. And I can tell you that compared to what I've had in the past, it's not a crazy tangle. And as soon as water touches it, I'm telling you, it literally just melts. All the knots just melt out. So the moment you, you know, you even add the conditioner, you're literally just gliding through with your fingers. And I absolutely love this hair for that because I do not have time <laughs> to struggle with a wig when I don't even struggle with my own hair so that to me is the one thing that won me over straight away it's really really manageable and then the second thing is shedding so the first time I reviewed some kinky hair I said to you guys um that the hair shed quite a bit but i didn't have anything to compare it with to say oh you know it's moderate or small or whatever i didn't know you know how a wig is supposed to shed to be honest with you i didn't and i said that in that video now this hair hardly sheds like i hardly have shedding the amount of shedding i have is i would say a tiny bit more than my average hair shed on a weekly basis when I wash my hair and to me that's quite impressive because of course this is not hair growing from a scalp and to me that is extremely important because one you know it means the hair is gonna last way longer it's gonna maintain its thickness for a much longer period of time and then secondly and most importantly <laughs> my room is not littered with hair I can't than that I hate it I hate it I hate it so for that reason 10 10 fingers 10 stars I love this hair I love it guys and this is not just me wearing the hair for like a month and reviewing it it's been literally over six months of wearing this hair and I love it now um, I'll show you the products that I use in it I don't use much I would say if I'm wearing it consecutively for like a whole week or two weeks or whatever the case is I do wash it um, maybe at most after four days I will wash it okay um, and I just use any conditioner that I have so whether it's my share moisture hello hydration you know herbal essences whatever the case is whatever I can pick up I use the hair is very agreeable um, you know a lot of products work really really well in it I also use Mazani. I don't have it to hand to show you guys, but Mazani deep conditioner from the True Textures line. I slather um, a little bit in here, and then I pop her in a plastic bag, 
and then I pop her <laughs> in the microwave for like 40 seconds to steam her and I'm telling you oh my god when the hair comes out it's pop pop popping popping um so I love her and as I showed you this is like the natural texture of the hair like unstyled um it's quite elongated as you can see but mine is shrunken um, and the curls are definitely defined in a different way and that's because I use a Denman brush so um, those of you that do your wash and goes with a Denman brush you know that the final look that you receive with a Denman brush and the look that you would receive using finger combing it's completely different the hair shrinks up more because it kind of forms the curls a bit more um, and it kind of gives it a little bit more shape as well so this is all I use in here. This is the only thing I have in my hair at the moment. And I don't know if it's gonna pick up because the product. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, there you go, all right. It's the Mizani True Textures Moisture Stretch for Natural Curls. It gives me great hold and it's a soft hold. It's not crunchy, it's not crispy, Lord Jesus. And it is popping. <laughs> and then on top of that, I use some of the Mizani Supreme Oil. It looks like that. Okay, so these are products that I haven't actually, I mean, I've used this in my own hair before, but I've never actually used the Mizani in my own hair. I'm not sure why. But I've kind of like designated it for my wigs. So <laughs> that's the reason why I haven't used it. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this hair, guys. And I would recommend it to any of you that are looking to get you some kinky hair. It's it's lush, okay? I have a few friends now who, are, uh, who have shown interest in buying some for themselves. Because they've seen it on me. They felt it. Um, and they love it. The other thing, the main thing is, I'm sure you guys are going to want to know how I blend my hair. So, unfortunately for me, the day that I decided to film this video, it rained. It rained. It just rained. So, it's a little bit frizzy on top. Um, I just got home. It's rather unfortunate. But, um, this, is my, this is my hair. This right here is my hair. Okay, these are my hair. And then this is the hair. So, you know, it's it blends quite well. Considering that even though my hair is frizzy at the moment, it's still blending quite well. Um, and like I said, this is a U-part wig. And I have about a finger's width of hair out, if that, okay? I've got skinny fingers, so a very, very small amount. Um, tiny amount of hair out. And my only qualms with this whole situation, this wig situation, is that I wish I got a closure. I want a closure. Um, you know, not because I struggle to blend my hair. It blends really, really well. But I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to, like, you know, take off the wig and then set my hair in some twists. And then put the wig on and take the twist out. Like, I just don't want that, sh I don't want that extra step in life, okay? I just want to throw the wig on and get the hell out of the house. Um, <laughs> so I even reached out to Joyce, you know, in communications. And I said to her, I'm definitely going to order the closure, the matching closure. And I'm going to redo the wig and use the closure. Um, but, you know, for everybody else, if you really want that freedom of, doing whatever you want any hairstyle up down side to side or whatever the case is then i would definitely say you know do a you part it blends really really well um the other reason why i want a you part is although the texture is very similar to my hair like i mentioned earlier on you know my hair behaves completely differently and the hair doesn't so when it's you know steamy or hot or rainy or damp the hair gets bigger but it doesn't necessarily frizz in the way that my natural hair would my hair behaves to humidity completely different to the hair and for that reason I just find it long to have a leave out and I would prefer to have see see right there 
this is my hair swelling with moisture okay I mean you still can't tell like you can't tell but it's just an extra step in life that I'd prefer not to have so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you do have any questions about the hair, if you want to see me wash it, um, let me know. And somebody's probably going to ask me, have I worn this in any other way? The only other thing I do sometimes is I will put it in a ponytail like this and leave like the front out. And nobody can tell that this is not my hair. Like nobody can tell, okay? Even family members can't tell that it's not my hair. Um... my highlighter popping uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the review of the hair thank you a huge thank you to joyce thank you for being so patient with me i know it's taken so long for me to film this video and it wasn't my intention to wait that long but i feel like this is even more beneficial because i've been wearing it for so long and i can give you guys my actual you know experience over a six month period and as you can see like i said the hair is holding up fantastically thanks for watching guys and i will see you soon